I don't know if I was to talk about security shepherd. Um, I haven't made this. I'm just going to show it. Um, when I was trying to brush up my personal skills, I was looking around for something to hack. You know, you're sitting with a book, for example, uh, the web app application Hacker's Handbook, and yeah, lots of text. But where do you use it? After a while, you find WebGoat, most of people heard of, and that's a great tool. But after a while, you're kind of growing out of that. You really want to see something else, and maybe you want to test stuff against people at work, or you want to have yeah, some kind of CTF, for example. Where do you find a CTF that's nice to run at work to have? Yeah. WebGoat doesn't really add up then. So I had to look around a bit and um, <coughs> that made me find uh, a little nice tool <coughs> named Security Shepherd. Uh, Security Shepherd is uh, first, where do you find it? Let's start with that. It's a VM. You just download it and uh, <coughs> take it into your virtual box and go. Admin login. You log in, and um, of course, you're going to change your password. Of course, I've changed my password, or not. <laughs> uh, why is this tool better than another, any other tool? I don't know, but it's. Uh, good for the purposes I was looking for. Uh, under the admin tab you can uh, do a lot of other stuff if my computer decides to work. For example, user management. If you want to add players to your environment, you can add them here. Uh, you can uh, take away the players if they do disbehave. You can close out the players <coughs> and uh, you can even let your players add themselves. Register. Yeah. Username. I didn't type the same password as username. When the user log in, they get in here, and uh, the good part with this is that you can put your uh, security shepherd in different modes. And in this setup, you're being logged out. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why would it work? Um, I can spell them. Configuration. <coughs> you got a CTF mode, a uh, open floor mode, and a tournament mode. The CTF mode is uh, the currently enabled one, and uh, it makes your user get in here and you push next challenge. Then they get the challenge. To do this challenge you need a proxy. So I do not have it to right now and I'm not here to show the challenges. I'll let you guys train them out yourselves. When you find out the key, you put it in and you get the next challenge. And. Uh, Then you have the scoreboard. Uh, so every time you finish a challenge, you get score, and uh, you can compete uh, against other people that are in the same same uh, environment as you are. Then you can 
set up the environment to be more uh, in your user management you can set it up to be class wise you can only see the scoreboard based on your class and you can put your users into specific classes so you can have a different class that go for against a different class um, you can even make it model-based. So if you having, for example, uh, if you're talking at work about uh, SQL injection, and you want your, the people that have been to your seminar about SQL injection test it out, you can just enable the SQL injection module. By just opening and closing your both modules that are active. So the people in that's coming into the security shepherd is only going to see the ones that you enabled. That makes you having more control over the environment if you want them to focus on some specific parts. You can enable feedback, uh, you can view the progress. There are some room for improvement, I personally think. Uh, because you can't see what modules they have done. You can just see that they have done modules. And uh, yeah, this behaving users can uh, be suspended or uh, deleted, or you can close the registering part so they can't register it. You have to add them yourself, for example. And for example, uh, example six, are higher up than example four, but they haven't done any modules. That's because I have uh, given him points. <laughs> so if you have someone that uh, are extremely nice and you like them more than the others, <laughs> yeah, just hit them with little points. Oh. Example 7 is really good. <laughs> there is uh, some more stuff with this, and uh, I dare you to, I dare you to uh, explore it. It's, uh, it's a great tool, actually. And uh, I think it's room for a lot of fun with it. And for the ones that uh, really don't There are a live version on the internet. So uh, if you don't want to do your VM and stuff like that, you can always go into the one that's online all the time. And there's where all, all the new stuff comes up. So I think the version there is not the same version as the one you download at the moment, because there are a lot of new uh, modules in that one, I think, from what I read on Slack. I don't know how one more. I've been too fast. Yeah. That's not a problem. A question. Uh, since I wasn't paying attention, uh, could, you, could you create your own modules? Uh, I'm unsure about that, actually. Oh, That's question. a good question. I haven't had that need yet, so. Let's look. Modern block setup. Set yeah, I don't know how it works. No, I don't think you can at the moment. But I, I think you're looking for people that want to join in for his uh, project. So feel free to join. I guess he exists on Slack for the people that's there. Any other questions? Great. Hey, we're early. <laughs> Thank you.